this video, I want to take a few moments to talk about how I use an iFi card in my Canon T4i. Just a couple quick tips, uh, mostly focused on using direct mode, which is just about um, my exclusive use of the iFi card. Direct mode is made possible by the X2 cards, and that allows you to send your pictures from the camera directly to a smartphone or tablet. Now, uh, they do support RAW, but when I'm out in the field, I'm not interested in sending RAW photos to my tablet or smartphone because uh, there's not a whole lot I can do with them. It's, you, you can work with them in some programs, but they're large. The transfer times take um, a really long time, and that's a pretty significant hit on battery life for both the camera and your uh, smartphone or, or tablet device. So my solution to that is when I have an iFi card in is I shoot RAW plus large JPEG. And what will transfer over, and I'll show you how to do this in just a second, are the JPEGs, but not the raw files. And this allows me to easily share pictures when I'm out in the field. But when I come back to the computer, I have those full raw files. And I do shoot raw 99.9% .9 of the time. Really the only time I don't shoot raw is maybe time lapses where I'm shooting 1,000 to 2,000 frames. Um, but even uh, if I think the time lapse has potential to be really good, I shoot raw for that as well. But anyway, that's, that's a different discussion. Right now we're talking about the iFi. So let me go into the menu real quick. And with an iFi card in, I have used the My Menu settings in the Canon T4i to put the iFi uh, on there. But it also lives under the iFi settings. But before we get that, I want to show you where you can set this image quality. First Canon a Camera Menu you can set the raw plus large JPEGs. Um, and I can press set, OK, or I can touch it. You can also do it through the Q menu by touching and then exactly the same. Now, what I was going to show you was the iFi settings. In the camera, under the first wrench is iFi settings. And really, the only setting you have here is to enable or disable the iFi transmission. You don't have any choices of whether the RAWs send or the JPEGs send. That's all done on, in the iFi app paired with the card. Um, I leave this disabled when I'm not using it because I have seen the iFi card get confused at times and try to connect. And again, this is a pretty significant impact on battery life in your camera and your smartphone. Um, so you really only want it to be working when you want it to be working. When it is enabled, you can come down here to connection info and it will let you know that something is transferring. It gives you your firmware and MAC address, all that useful information. So I'm going to leave that enabled right now. Now, the other thing that I have set up is that only um, the pictures that I protect will be transferred. iFi calls that selective transfer. So again, I may be shooting 10 to 15 photos and only one of those I actually want to transfer over to the um, to my phone or, or tablet. And let me show you how you can do that real quick. So I'm going to turn live view on so you can just see a picture here. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture, potted plant. And now that I've taken this picture, I can press the play button. There it is. And the Q button. And that lets me touch protect images enable. And now you can see that there's a little key icon up in the top of that screen that lets me know that that image is protected. There's a few other options here that are fairly nifty. You can rotate. You can give it a rating. Those ratings will come into Lightroom or other programs that you use. This is where you can apply some creative filters. I'll have another video on this soon. But the one I wanted to show you was the fact that you can protect that image. Now that it is protected, it is signaling to the iFi card to be sent over to the tablet. And over here, um, on the tablet, you can see that that picture just came over. There it is. Very nice, very quick, happens quite well. Let me go into settings real quick and show you where I say only transfer the JPEGs. And in fact, you do that by just saying photos and not. Oh, it's going to be unhappy because now it's connected to the iFi card. So let me turn that back off. and switch the Wi-Fi to the correct one. It's already switching. Let's get back into that. iFi card. Let's uncheck this for a second. Select that. 
And now here is where I, the only one that I usually check is photos. So again, when I'm shooting to this card and I protect an image, it's going to send over the JPEG version of that image because I've selected photos. It will not send over videos or raw photos. You could have um, videos checked, and as long as you don't protect those, it won't send them either. But again, those are, you know, if you're shooting full raw, uh, sorry, if you're shooting higher HD video, higher quality HD video, those file sizes are going to be ginormous and a pretty serious impact on battery life. So I'm just going to press OK. I mentioned this the other day in a kind of quick tips video, the, uh, uh, an, a fairly recent update, early February 2013 update to the um, iFi card now lets you um, tag, you can geotag your photos with the location of the um, tablet or smartphone at the time. So that's just a real quick look at how I use the iFi card in a T4i. Shoot RAW plus JPEG. I have selective transfer. Again, that's all set up on the computer with the iFi card before you put it into the T4i. And um, protecting the images using the Q menu. And it works quite nicely for me. If you have any questions about iFi cards, Canon T4i, um, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.